Hi, welcome to the Bexhill West YouTube channel. I'm James. I enjoy scale model making and I'm currently involved in a project to recreate in miniature all of the buildings and architecture associated with the Bexhill West uh, railway line which is now closed. My project focuses on the architecture of the railway line. I'm not building the whole railway, just the buildings, the station, signal boxes, bridges and what have you. And the project's quite well advanced. And I've posted a few pictures online and had a lot of really interesting response. It seems that not only is the station building itself, which still exists, much beloved by locals, but some of the methods I've been using to create these have also created some interest in others. And so this video really is the first attempt at trying to do YouTube seriously with a view to sharing how I do things. Now I'm no expert at model making but I like to base all of my work around the use of computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing methods and so I thought that this project might make for an interesting series for YouTube showing the processes that I use and hopefully some of my techniques might inspire others or, or give other people some good ideas of their own. During this lockdown period, like many others, I've enjoyed watching all sorts of live streams on YouTube and listening to podcasts. And one of the streams that I particularly enjoyed is every Monday and every Friday night. And it's by a gentleman by the name of Paul Apps, who is an artist. And during his streams, he paints a picture and talks us through how it's done. And those of us watching give our comments and ask questions and what have you. And I've found it to be very enjoyable. It's been something I've been doing uh, alongside my model making. For several weeks have gone on, I felt indebted to the great content that Paul was putting out. So I reached out to him and asked him, would he like one of my buildings? Now, I know Paul has a model railway, and uh, so I suggested he might like one of my buildings for his model railway. Well, Paul got back to me and I was delighted that he thought my buildings were good enough. Um, and so I've been working on a project to create for Paul uh, a TMD for the Ashford area of his model railway layout. The next series of images and video that I'm going to show is the design work that I've done so far for Paul. Um, I hope you enjoy it and let me know your, your thoughts on what you see. Thank you. Well, I hope you found that sequence interesting. I hope that maybe has given you some food for thought about how you might use computer-aided design uh, to help plan out some of your own modeling ideas. 
Before I end the video, I just want to share one other project I'm working on, which is also uh, going to feature on this channel in the coming weeks. Okay, so this is uh, another model I've been working on recently alongside the Bexhill West project. It's a very, very small um, model of Bodium Station on the Kenton East Sussex Railway. Now this will be built into a small diorama purely as a photographic backdrop. Um, however, I thought in itself it might provide some interesting content for YouTube um, looking at how the thing was designed, some of the 3D model making uh, that happened on the computer prior to laser cutting the, the kit apart. The assembly of this literally has taken me no time at all. Um, but the planning and the CAD work behind it is obviously a bit more involved. It's a small project, it's a nice thing with which to introduce computer aided design and laser cutting, two things which I don't think are covered as well as they could be on YouTube. Um, certainly within the modelling community. So um, watch out for those videos coming very soon. Finally, thank you for watching this short video. Um, I didn't know whether to make it or not. I certainly didn't want to appear in front of the camera, but I thought that if I was going to give YouTube a serious go, I ought to at least show my face. If this has been of interest to you, then please consider subscribing. Uh, give the video a like or a dislike. Um, let me know your thoughts. Please leave a comment. I'd be delighted to hear from you and I'll reply to everyone who takes the time to, to write to me. So thank you very much indeed. Until the next video, stay safe everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.